Hello everyone, Neil from BookBull here, and in today's video we're going to go over how you, in the next 10 or so minutes, can get up your very own storybook on Amazon by finding a niche, creating a quick book through the BookBull Studio and the new features that BookBull has released, and then being able to upload that book to Amazon. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we are inside of the product search inside of BookBull. Now we're going to start inside of the product search because we wanna be able to find stuff that is actually selling and that we can create and put up on Amazon without too much competition. That's why you're always going to see, if this is your first video or even the 10th video you've seen that we've put out, we always start with the research first, we validate what we find, and then we head over and we actually create that type of content. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to create a storybook. So the first thing we need to do is figure out, hey, what kind of storybook books are actually out there on Amazon and are selling and are getting in front of a target audience that wants to buy these products. So we're going to start in the product search here. I'm going to enter in a keyword storybook with quotations so it is exact match search so let's go ahead and do that now that we have that entered we're going to click on search we're looking in the general category so this is going to give us an idea of what is out there that people are actually buying so here we're going to see one that is about an advent calendar we have one here this looks like an escape room same sort of thing a storyboard a notebook we have one here for a coloring book for kids so we see that there's lots of different you know different types of storybooks out there. Right hand corner, we can see some keywords and their monthly search volume. Now I actually wanna dive a little bit deeper into the keywords here. So I'm gonna head over to the keyword search. Now you can see I've already entered in storybook and clicked on search. This is going to give you a ton of different results, different keywords and their monthly search volume. So as I was scrolling through here, storybook, storybook books, storybook bookshelf, I'm looking for things that actually stick out. Now the first thing that stuck out to me is this. This one right here, French Storybook, gets a little under 2,000 searches per month. Now, I don't personally speak French, but we actually do have a, the ability to create French books, French storybooks inside of the BookBull Studio, which if this ends up validating itself is something we want to take a look at. So let's head over to Amazon, double check that this is low competition. If it is, we'll jump into the studio and start creating. All right, you can see here I hopped over to an Amazon page. I typed in French storybook into the search box on Amazon.com, clicked on search, and I started scrolling. Now you can see there's 295 results, and right here we see different types of French storybooks. Here's a beginner level French storybook to learn French, different fairy tales. We have a French workbook. Here is another French storybook. Another one, another one. This one looks really good. Why? It's priced pretty decently. Love the cover. Looks very relatable to children. 81 reviews, right? So let's go ahead and open that book and see what that looks like. All right, so here we can see the book. It's got 81 reviews. It's got a very, very good cover. Everything is properly optimized. It's got a very good price. Scrolling down, we don't see any A plus content, but we do see that this user has set up an author profile. So everything here looks really, really good. We just saw that the competition on Amazon is low. It's under a thousand results, right? That makes it much, much easier to actually create and get seen by people on Amazon. So let's go ahead and jump into creating our very own storybook through the BookBold Studio. Let's head back inside of BookBold and get started. All right, so we are inside of BookBold here. We're going to scroll down on the left-hand side and select the BookBold Studio. This is where we are going to be able to create our books. So once we are inside of the BookBold Studio, you can see I've been just playing around with the test project here. We actually want to create a brand new project. So let's go to the top menu, select Project, and then new project and right here we are going to select the ai story generator this is going to allow us to create this storybook without actually speaking french in this case so let's go ai story generator i'm going to keep it as a six by nine i'm going to keep it at 24 pages nice and short we're going to give it a project name french storybook everything's looking good and we're going to go ahead and create the project now I told you this is going to take under 10 minutes. This is going to be very, very, very simple. Let's step through all of the steps in order to create our book. First page, we actually need to give the story some parameters. So you can see the story. We gave it a name. French storybook. It's going to be 24 pages. We're going to have the layout to where the illustration is actually above and the text below. Now you can change this up. I like to keep it at default here, but I do want to make sure I change the language. We're not going to do an English version. We are doing a French version for this French storybook. Now, since the storybook is related to children, what uh, age 
are we talking about here? Two to four, five to seven, eight to ten. I'm going to keep it default five to seven, but you can always change that along with the story template, bedtime story, adventure, fairy tale. I saw a lot of fairy tales when we were looking on Amazon, so we're going to go ahead and select that. Character trait is the character in the story. We have not created the character yet. We will get to that. Brave, curious, kind, silly, smart, helpful, or shy. I'm going to keep it at curious. And then also the moral or the lesson of the story, kindness, honesty, bravery, sharing, etc., etc. So you can add an additional prompt here for the generator for the story. I'm going to keep it the exact same as you see on my screen, and we are going to continue to the next step. Now, in this step, we actually have to create a character for our storybook. In order to do so, you can select from the character type, from a human child to a talking object to a custom We'll give it a name. You can also change the style. So I'm going to keep it at watercolor here, but you have a few styles to choose from. You can go watercolor, cartoon, 3D animation, or acrylic. This is going to affect the output of the character in your story. So let's give this character a name. Let's call her Emily. So we'll give it a name here. Emily is going to be the character name. And then we can actually set up what the character will look like before we generate that character. Female or male. We're going to keep it a female. Eye color, I'm going to go with a blue eye color, skin color light, hair color, lots of different options. I'm going to keep it at black, outfit primary color, and outfit secondary color. I'm, there's a lot of options in here. I'm going to keep it at blue and yellow. We're going to go ahead and generate this character. Now, you can add an additional prompt in here. Is this character going to be wearing glasses? Are they going to be wearing a baseball cap, etc., etc.? Again, going to keep it real easy. We're going to generate this character. All right, so as you can see, the character was generated. This is Emily, as we see here, the character name. Now, we could regenerate this character again if we wanted. Let's go ahead and do that and see which one we actually like best. All right, so here we go. You can see two different variations of the same character. They're not too different, but they are different to where you can see the differences here. So we have one and we have two. I'm going to go ahead and select the one that we had first generated. I think this looks good. Nice uh, little girl here, probably five to seven as we set up. Uh, and her name is Emily. So let's go ahead and actually generate the content. Now that we've had the character generated, once we click on generate content, it's going to actually create the story portion of the storybook. This can take a few minutes. Let's go ahead and click this and give it some time and this will move to the next step. All right, we have made it to the next step and we can see we are actually on the content portion of our French storybook. Now the content portion is broken down page by page. You'll see there's page one, page two, page three, and you'll actually see two things for each page. You're going to see the page text. This is the story portion of the text. Now again, I don't speak French, but if I did, I could always come in here and actually edit the portion of the story for each page, right? So here we go is the page text, and right below that you're going to have the illustration prompt. Remember, we're going to use AI to generate the picture portion of our storybook. Now each page you can come through and generate each page individually, which I will show you. We can generate all of them at once, or what I really, really like with the Book Bowl tool here is that you can actually click on Enhanced or you can click All Enhanced. This is going to lead to a much better output. So you can see if I hover over this as well, more expensive, Enhanced uses a different AI model for more consistent results across images. That makes the storybook a lot easier and all you have to do is click All Enhanced. So instead of just generating them all at once here, you can see that in this particular book, it would cost us 816 credits to do Enhanced. I am going to undo that. We're going to click Enhance and just generate a single one to see what that's going to look like. So all we have to do is click on the Generate Illustration, give it a second here, and it's going to create that illustration for us for this particular page. And there we go. This is going to be the first illustration in our storybook. Now, as you can see here in the illustration prompt, this prompt is bright forest morning with sunlight streaming through leaves. Emily, at Emily. So when you reference the character that you just created, you're going to use the at and then the name. This is helpful when editing the prompt here. Okay, so Emily is looking curiously at a hidden path of birds flying above. This looks like a pretty good image of that. Now, if we wanted a different variation, we can always regenerate that image and then pick from either or. Or if you're not getting consistent output between pages, one of the easiest things you can do to remedy that is not only can you regenerate the image, you can edit the prompt and move the character reference. So in this case, at Emily, somewhere near the beginning of the prompt helps really well with that. So let's just regenerate this and we can see that there's going to be two different variations for our first page here. So there we go. There is something also that looks very similar. It's a little bit different, and we could actually go through and pick, hey, which one of these do we actually like better for the story? Now, I'm going to go with this one. 
Very, very simple. I'm going to actually click on All Enhanced, and I'm going to generate all 23 of the remaining pages so that we can finish up this book and get to the cover, and then we're going to be done. So let's go ahead, click on this. We'll give it a few minutes to generate all the images and take a look at what it has created for us. So as you can see here, it's going to step through page by page as it goes. I can just talk through this. Here we go. Emily kneels by a sparkling stream. Watchful color watching colorful fish leap you'll notice this is the exact same character right so between pages you have the characters the exact same which makes everything kind of work together so as we can see if we scroll down the character is being generated everything looks really good for the story the story is in french we're getting about halfway done now 12 pages so scroll down we'll scroll down this one hasn't generated yet we'll give this a little bit of extra time and then the book will be completed all right, the story is done. So let's go ahead, scroll to the top, and we'll take a look. This picture looks good. This one looks good. I always recommend when creating a storybook, no matter what kind of storybook you are creating, you need to ensure that you go through and you verify that everything looks good and there's no mistakes. We are using you know, generative AI for this. So we need to make sure that everything looks right before we actually download and publish something on Amazon. So as I'm scrolling through here, everything looks good. Everything looks good. This does not look good um let's see what is the illustration problem birds squirrels and rabbits gather with small tools and twigs emily coordinates their efforts um she's now in a different sort of dress so all we're going to do here is we're going to regenerate this image if that doesn't work we're going to move the character reference to the front of the illustration prompt and there we go much better right so just that 10 seconds of scrolling through and looking now that that looks correct we're going to keep scrolling down everything looks good everything looks good all of this looks excellent right so everything looks good now we're going to actually continue to the pages of the book now we created 24 pages we need to actually select 24 pages right so we're going to select this you can click them unselect them i'm just going to select this button that says hey select the first 24 pages we're going to continue. This is where you can change the font of the story. Now, I'm not going to do any of this, but you can always change the font to any of the Google fonts in here for your story. Change the text color, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to leave it the exact same by default and click on submit. And what this is going to do is going to add that entire book to your actual project inside of the studio here. So just like that, boom, your book has come together. It's in French, everything's looking good with the images, everything is working together. So it looks really, really, really good. All we have to do now is create our cover. Now for the cover, we need to come up with a name for the book. So I'm gonna actually remove this template so we can see what we're doing here. The front cover is on the right side, the back cover is on the left. All we need to do is come up with a name for the book. Now, I don't know a name for this book off the top of my head since I'm doing this fairly quickly as a tutorial video, but how are we going to get the right imagery for the front and back cover? We are once again going to use one of the AI tools. This time, we're going to use the image generator. We just created the story. The story is already in our book. Everything is looking really, really good. We now need to create the front and back cover. I'm going to use the image generator precise and i'm going to give it a prompt now i'm going to change this from illustration to there's a lot of options here illustration cartoon i'm going to choose watercolor why because that's the one we use to create the character in the book and now i'm just going to create a prompt so for the prompt let's just create something that might be you know outside related in the woods so give me a minute i will type this up and then we will generate something all right, so I've quickly written something up. It says, a peaceful forest path that is empty of human beings, but is lush with nature, birds, frogs, next to a winding river and sunshine. So I don't really know what this is going to create, but I am going to change the image count to four here to get you know some good output, and we can pick what we want from there. So let's go ahead and just generate this and see what the AI is going to create. And that right there actually looks pretty good. Why? Because we can actually put the title of our book somewhere right in the middle. Now, it did create four options for us. So let's click through here. This one also love that. We'll click through here. That one's also really, really good. We have some, it looks like some animals, some lily pads. Oh, I like this one as well. I mean, these are really, really good options. So maybe I'll just select this one, and all we have to do is click Add it to Page here. So I'll click Add to Page. It's going to add it to the front cover. And I might just, uh, let's see here, blow this up nice and large so it's past all of the cut lines. Do you think I could get bigger than that? Boom. I could do something like that, get really large, and it would cover the entire book. 
So this would be the front cover, right? And we could give it a name. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll give it a name here. Now, again, I don't speak French. So this would be, this would be the title. Now, if I could make that capital, that would be the title somewhere on the front of the book. Now, does this look right? No, I would need to play around with the font. I need to come up with a French name for the actual book. But you get the point. So once this is done, this is how your book would look. How do we actually see this in book format? We click on this little eye icon right here. Boom, we'll go to book view, and now we can just step through. Now again, play around with the title, make this look better, but awesome, we have a front cover, and here is our actual storybook. We can step through, everything looks great. All that's left to do now that we have a full storybook and a cover, again, spend some more time on the cover, go to download, download your project, unzip it, and you're done. You upload that straight to Amazon. This took under 10 minutes. You researched it. You know that they, there is low competition, but people are buying these type of books. You have a beautiful book to put up on Amazon KDP that you can start earning royalties today with. So it is an excellent, excellent, excellent tool and a very new addition to the Book Bolt Studio. So that's gonna be all for today's tutorial. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Give the, play around with this and let me know when you publish your very first storybook on Amazon. So good luck out there and thanks again for watching.